All right, hey, y'all know how normally we count it up? Today we're going to count. How many points did they score? Zero! Great job. You know, mentally, I think we're in, in a real good spot right now. The way we try to approach, you know, each and every week, whether it's a win, a loss, a tie, or whatever, and regardless of who you're playing, the next game's the biggest game of the year because it's the next game. And you've got to put the put the last play behind you, and our guys have, have done a great job of doing that. You know, we've, we've fallen into holes before. We put the last play behind us and came back and, and fought and played really well after that. And we need to do that after wins and after losses, regardless of what happens, play the next play as if it's going to be your last. Regardless of score, regardless of standings, regardless of position, play the next play, play the next game uh, as if it's most important because it is. That's the only one that we can control. So our, our uh, mood and attitude is, is good right now. It needs to be. We're going through a, an extremely tough stretch in the, in the conference schedule. Uh, we're one of a, a few teams left that are that are undefeated in the conference. We're still standing on high ground, and we need to we need to continue to stay there. It, there is such thing as a trap game, and uh, but what you've got to do is you, you avoid that by preparation. If you prepare during the week, uh, you know what the other team's going to do, just as they know what you're going to do. Uh, you prepare. Uh, you make sure that you're sound fundamentally, and then you do the things that you know that we've done well. Four out of six games: protect the football, win the, the the battle of penalties, and win the battle of explosives. If you do those things, you control the parameters that you can control, which are turnovers, explosives, kicking game. Then the the, the then you. The best team normally wins a football game. So what we've got to do is do a great job in preparation this week, really prepare hard, and then get ready to go because this is the most important game. The rest of them don't may as well have lost last week if you're going to lose this week. A loss is a loss in the conference. Uh, we need to prepare and we need to go play the best that we can, put ourselves in a position to, to win the football game. We had a, had a great practice on Sunday night. Uh, the attention was good. The energy was good. The guys really bounced around and had a lot of enthusiasm and energy. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, playing Houston Baptist and getting ready for, for a tough opponent. The season is, is, is one, one deal. You know, we're, we're just going play to play to play. And, you know, now it's about we're, we're in the middle, middle stretches right now, and we just got to keep playing the next play, and we'll be able to evaluate it all at the, at the end of it. I am pleased that we're 2-0. We're, and oh. we're where we want to be uh, going into this stretch. And, you know, the rest of it's immaterial. We need, to, uh, we need to take care of business this week. You know, any cowboy worth his salt has a great hat. Of course, a cowboy who has a love of the delicious grilled chicken sandwich from Zaxby's has a very special hat with a secret compartment to keep his sandwich hot until he's ready to eat it. The Grilled Chicken Sandwich Meal. Grilled chicken topped with honey mustard and lettuce on a brioche bun served with crinkle fries and a small Coca-Cola freestyle drink. Zaxby's, indescribably good. Welcome. This is our 14th annual Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony. This is always a fabulous weekend for UCA, and we very much appreciate you sharing this with us. And we were running gas, so we had 35 five seconds to finish. And I wasn't the fastest guy, but I finished first in about 30 seconds. Then we ran the next one. I came across again in about 30 seconds. And one of those older guys that had been around for a while looked at me and said, Hey, man, this is not a race. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't understand. It may not have been a race for him, but it was a race for me. And one of the finish lines I'm just getting to, I'm making to that today, because that same thing that made me run as fast as I can is what pushed me and helped me to achieve. Because my first coach had taught me that I always need to work hard on whatever I did. Thank you, everybody, again. I really appreciate it. I'm truly honored. And to take the words from one of my favorite speakers, he was doing his Hall of Fame speech. Boy, the city born and bred. Hall of Fame, and after I'm dead. Thank you. <laughs> and when you compete, and you know you've done all you can do, you know, that's, that's, that's the best. You know, you could be happy with that. Now, I, I want all of you to know that one of the great things that I get to do is recruit, uh, recruit players. 
and I was a big recruit for the Bears back then. I was a big recruit. I was five foot eleven, and I weighed 120 pounds. <laughs> and here is my. <laughs> health, we want to keep you that way. In fact, that's our mission. To not only provide the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury, and comprehensive care to support your recovery, but also to be your guide to health. Also, you can keep on inspiring, keep on reaching, and keep on amazing. See some of Baptist Health's amazing stories at keeponamazing.com. No place like home, and the Bears are back on the strikes this afternoon to take on the Huskies of Houston Baptist. Bears hoping to run their conference record to a perfect 3-0. It's cloudy, but no rain is falling here at First Security Field at SS Stadium. I also want to mention it's a very special day. It's Hall of Fame Day, and the Bears hope to put on a good performance for those Hall of Famers. Steve Sullivan, along with Justin Acre and Monty Rowell, will be roaming the sideline. and. Well, just an exciting time so far in conference play. Bears go to 2-0, and a chance to go to 3-0, and and every win uh, builds that resume. No question. This is a game the Bears certainly would be heavily favored in uh, against the Houston Baptist team that is really in transition. Last year just playing sort of an introductory schedule, new to Division One football. And, uh, you know, again, they've had their struggles this year. This is a team that's trying to find its way, lost 31-8 to last week at Incarnate Word. But... You know, the thing you worry about with these Bears is maybe a little bit of an emotional letdown. you got a team that's not real highly thought of nationally coming in. You're on your home field, and you're coming off a very emotional win against your former coach, and certainly a huge win for the Bears and a huge step in the right direction. Cannot afford to slip up today after that 49-39 win last week. 
And how about 28 points scored in the last 19 minutes? What's the old saying? It's not how you start, it's how you finish, right? <laughs> On the flip side, though, we've yet to see this team play a complete game. And, and going yeah. into what is going to be a huge game next week, I think it'll be a very, very much a confidence builder for this team to click on both sides of the ball, put this game out of reach early, and uh, go into that showdown with Southeastern Louisiana on the road with a lot of momentum. 3-0. In the night, that's where we want to be. We want to be atop the conference at 3-0. If we handle our business and do what I know we're going to do, we're going to do that. 3-0 is where I want to be. It's up to y'all. It's up to y'all to make plays. Be smart, guys. What can what, what we're in this game? Put the ball on the ground. Play a sloppy game. Miss the block. Miss the assignment. Stick to what you know. Do what you talk. And hold on to the football. And we'll get the end zone early and often. Everybody got me? Good. End inside is 3 0. 3 0. I don't care if there's 10 people in the stands or 100,000 people in the stands. We're self motivators and we're going to get after it. Get the person next to you fired up, ready to play. Okay? And then we'll go. And we'll go and we'll score and y'all celebrate and we'll make it a fun night. Got it? Got me? Let's get it done. Three and Bears have it first and 10 at the Houston Baptist 41-yard line. Quick toss left side. Jatavius Wilson has it. Gets a block from Watts. Races up the sideline. Scoots past another Husky at the 31 and all the way down to the 30-yard line. Nice block by Watts at the line of scrimmage. It's a gain of 11. It's a UCA first down. They hand it to Thomas. Sweeping right across the 35. Big collision. Bounces forward. 40, 41-yard line. A gain of 11. Second down and one. Nose of the football approaching midfield. No score in the first quarter. Quick toss left side. Wilson has it. Gets a block across the 45. All the way down to the 41-yard line. It's on third down and five. Reed, short drop. Guns it over the middle. Complete. Desmond Smith running across the field. 25, 50, 10, 5. He goes all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, UCA, a 36-yard scoring play. What a burst by Desmond Smith. I mean, Sully looked like he ate some rocket fuel. He took off <laughs> up that left side. I was thinking 10 or 15 yards, what not 36. A, nice quick hitter right there, and a great job blocking downfield by his, his uh, teammates out of wide receiver. I think Desmond Lewis was the one that sprung the last one. Reed's going to run it. Taylor running outside to the right, 35, 40, 45, dives to midfield. It's a gain of 17 for Taylor Reed. Pistol formation, Dominique Thomas remains in the game. Pumps, he's going deep. He's got Damian Watts all alone, catches at the 10, 5, touchdown. UCA, I mean all alone. It was hard to find. We used binoculars. It was hard to find a defender in the area. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm very happy for Watts. I mean, this is a guy who's really bided his time, and he's had a number of plays solely this year where he's been behind the defense. Maybe not quite that open, but goodness gracious, they finally made the connection. Howard going deep down the middle, wide open. Catch is made at the 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, UCA. Desmond Smith goes all the way for the score. No, that Check was Justin Dickey. Justin Dickey. I know you're not used to calling his name, Sully. Justin. I was looking down there. It was 98, not 80. Or Justin Dickey's got two catches on the season, two touchdowns on the season. I apologize to mess up his call. Second down, Lazard being chased and then jacked back at the 42-yard line. Ricky Wyatt with the sack back at the 13, I should say. Boy, he closed with a... Yeah, it's a lot. And a flurry, didn't he? Yeah. It looked like he was going to get rid of the football, and boy, Wyatt closed ground and made the sack. It's going to bring up third and 20 back at the 13 yard line. Third down and short. Bunch formation. Handoff. Straight up the middle. Beasley has it. Breaks free. 30, 25, all the way down to the 22 yard line. Bears threatening at the 22 yard line. Play fake. Quick toss right side. Desmond Smith gets a block from Desmond Lewis. Cuts inside the 15, 10, breaking tackles. Finally. Spun to the turf at the six-yard line. 
Taylor's going to run it. Right side cuts the three. Two dives to the end zone. Touchdown, UCA Taylor Reed. He's passed for two and run for one. He had six scores last week, and he's halfway there tonight. We have 14-29 to play in the first half. Baker, play fake, rolling right, being chased, throws on the run, picked off, picked off by touchdown, UCA 10-5, Ricky Wyatt with the pick and the touchdown. How about that? Ricky Wyatt is on fire tonight. He is yeah. everywhere. I mean, does he not look a step faster than he's looked all year? My goodness. And it was almost like a surprise. He caught it in stride at the 20-15-10-5 well, touchdown. Yeah, the quarterback, uh, Baker, tried to make a play on him, but you could tell Wyatt was determined. I'm getting in the end zone here, my man. 34 to nothing. Bears wow. 14-15 to play in the first half. Pistol formation. Wilson in motion across the formation. Thomas gets the call, trying to turn it outside. Breaks the tackle, accelerates up the sideline. 45, 40, 35, 30, 20. He's going to go all the way. Dominique Thomas raced 56 yards for a UCA first down. Touchdown. Had a hurdle in there, too. Unbelievable run by Dominique Thomas. They looked like they had him stopped at the line of scrimmage. It's the replay now. Uh, you know what? You said this a few weeks ago. This kid's pretty special, Sully. I mean, he is going to get more and more carries as the year goes on. He is explosive. Took a blow on the back end. What a run by Dominique Thomas. Wow. Third down and 11. Balls in the 32-yard line. Baker to throw. Baker looking, fires sideline, underthrown and picked off at midfield, 45-yard line. It's Prince Eney, a bad throw into double coverage. First and 10 from the 42, hands it to Thomas. No, he's going to keep it straight up the middle. Hildebrand into the secondary and all the way to the 40-yard line. Stack three tight ends to the right on third and one. Thomas gets it right side. Crashes across the 10-5 and runs into the end zone. Looked like he was stopped at the 5. Touchdown, Dominique Thomas. Looked like he was stopped at the five, and all of a sudden he was standing in the end zone. It's a little speed sweep and forget it. Derek Floyd said, I've seen that, that enough in practice. Desmond Smith motions across the formation. Hildebrand to throw. Looking left. Pressure's coming. Over the middle. Complete out at the 38 for a first down. He took a shot. And it's Justin Dickey with the catch. His first non-touchdown of the season. Hildebrand to throw again. Deep down the middle, has a receiver open, catch is made at the 15, 10, 5, touchdown, UCA. And the touchdown catch is Courtney Whitehead. He dragged the defender at the 5 into the end zone. Touchdown, UCA. 60 yards, Sully. What wow. a throw. What a nice that was a throw. Spectac I mean, he threw it in. Whitehead had to stretch his arms yeah. out and got on the fingertips. It was a great go great job of and concentration. And he wasn't as wide open as the previous receivers. Well, if it's like most of the kicks tonight, it's going to go towards the sideline and out of bounds. Oh, no, that would, oh, it line drive kick. I don't know if it hit a bear, but it didn't get two feet off the ground. The scramble for the ball. I don't know who has it. Bears pick it up, scoop it, and come the <laughs> other way. It's Odom. Ten, five, three. He's down, two, push, one, did he get in the end zone? Touchdown, George Odom! <laughs> That's the craziest play I've ever seen. That is the craziest play I've ever seen. That ball did not get a yard off the ground. There was no. a scramble for it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So he picks it up. They, they knock it away from and him. And then there's a, a push at yeah. the three or two yard line. The Bears covered it just to make sure, and it got kicked out. And then finally, the Odom comes up with it, and there was a scrum like a rugby play at the three, and they just push him into the end Sports entrance. Center play of the week. If they have it on tape, you yeah. need to send it in. That might be. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is See, crazy. That's the oddest touchdown we've seen in our time at UCLA. Ever. Yeah, you're right. That was crazy. It'll be a lot of fun for these younger players. Hall's going to run it. He's hitting the backfield and dumped for a big loss. Pistol formation on third and seven. They're going to hand it off. Daniels pokes free at the 50, 45. Cuts inside the 40, still on his feet at the 35. Carrying a Houston Baptist defender all the way to the 30-yard line. Daniels, he gets the call again. Spurts through a hole at the 25, 20, breaks the tackle, 15, 10, 5. All the way down to the two. Is this kid quick? The handoff to Daniels, right side. He goes into the end zone. Touchdown, UCA. And Darian Daniels is going to grab that football and hand it to the official. No big celebration, but that's his first touchdown as a UCA Bear. I love and to it's see 69 it. 69 to nothing. Bears up 70 to nothing. Bell trying to turn the corner. 
Chambers, what a play. I like this kid. Oh, a bad snap in the shotgun. Quarterback Hall didn't see it coming. It's a loss of 23. Second and 33, back at the 21. He's going to throw. Baker looking. He's going big ball. Man-to-man coverage on the sideline. Picked off at the 35-yard line. And out of bounds, Jordan Myers. He's going to throw. Lobbing it up in the end zone. Jump ball and picked off. What a nice play by Tremont Smith. Was that Boy, nice? That was perfect coverage. And then he goes up and catches the ball at his highest point. He was giving up about five inches yeah. to that receiver as well. and But held his ground and, and got up high to make the interception. He's going to hand it off up the middle. Good hole, breaking tackles. Oh. There goes his helmet. He's still running. That play's dead as soon as his helmet comes yeah. off. Robinson got smacked. He's going to throw. End zone. Man-to-man coverage. Tremont Smith, he picked it off. Wow. Smith with another pick. Sully, is he good? Tremont Smith. Wow, is that a great play. I said, are you ready? Yeah. Go up and down. Go up and down. Side to side. Side to side. Back and forth. Back and forth. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Um, guys, y'all know, uh, y'all know the next game. <laughs> Becomes each each week we play the most important game of the year. Why? Because it's Southeastern? No, because why? They next. They next. They next. Yeah. One game at a time. Hey, great, great job. Let's get ready for the let's get ready for the most important game of the year. Hi, can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a phone plan. It has to be a great one, and I don't compromise. Okay, how about 10 gigs of data to share, unlimited talk and text, and you can choose from two to ten lines. Wow, sounds like a great deal. So I'm getting exactly what I want then. Appears so. Now, um, I'm not too sure what to do with my arms right now, because this is where I usually start throwing things. Oh, that's terrifying. AT&T's best ever pricing. Two to ten lines, ten gigs of truly shareable data, unlimited talk and text, starting at $130 a month. You know, now we, we, we turn the page and, and flip over to uh, southeastern Louisiana. Southeastern, outstanding football team. They're coming in five and two. They've got the, the reigning and returning uh, conference player of the year, their quarterback, outstanding, outstanding player, Brian Bennett. He is a, you know, he's, he, you know, I hate to say he's similar to because he's, you know, he's, he's the real deal. He's a, a great quarterback that is, is he's like the, the guy at Montana State on uh, just, he's, a, he's a, a step faster and probably a little bigger. Uh, he's an outstanding player. He can run and throw, great speed. You know, most of y'all know the story. He was, Marcus Mariota is a, a top Heisman candidate out at Oregon. Uh, and it was him and Marcus Mariota all the way through two a days into the, you know, which one are we going to go with? And, and Mariota apparently took the job and, and Bennett transferred. So uh, he's an outstanding talent and he's a guy that, you know, is putting together a, a, another great year. So defensively, uh, it, it's very good that we're, that we're starting, to, starting to play. Um, uh, better. We're getting better. Uh, we, we tackled better this past week, and that's something that we definitely going to have to do against a, a very good Southeastern team. Uh, quarterback's a threat. They've got a, a little running back that they'll they'll put out a wide receiver. They'll let him return kicks. Uh, they'll put him in the backfield and let him run the football. He's a preseason All-American, so they got a lot of speed on their offense. Defensively, they play a three-man line. All right, but when you're this big, you can play a three-man line. Their, their nose guard is 320 pounds. Then their defensive end, whereas most folks, 240, 260 is a big guy. They're, they're 305 at one end and 320 at the other end. So they're, they're 300 pounds across the front. Um, you know, they're a big physical football team um, with a lot of speed at linebacker. You know, they, they definitely present, present a great challenge. Uh, you know, they've won. Um, I don't know how, you know, they, they didn't lose conference game last year and, and haven't lost one yet this year. Uh, but we're very excited about the challenge. Our guys are, are fired up.